Hey guys, it's Sunday, so the first day of the second week of vlogs, or the first full week. We are going, uh, we are going into town to do some more Christmas shopping and stuff. to town today and I bought some more Christmas presents and I also bought some stuff for myself. I bought this leisure suit. <laughs> this velvet leisure suit for myself. I got these for my grandparents. They're like a tin of butter cookies. I also got them another Christmas present. Don't worry. But I just thought this was so cute. And this is the wrapping paper I picked out for my Christmas presents. And I got these really cute vans. Look at their super cute i got them for almost 50 percent off not quite half off the sticker price but almost probably like 45 percent off the sticker my pop socket keeps falling off my phone which is really annoying and makes it harder to hold to film so that's annoying and like i've tried to restick it but it won't stay so i don't know i don't know if it's the case but i don't think it's the case because i had it stuck and then I tried to move it and I won't stay stuck even though like I, you know, like wet it and everything that like, they say to do to restick it. But I don't know. my leisure suit that I got yesterday, today, the pants and pockets, which is great. I just finished my Christmas wrapping. All I have left to do, I have to order my little brother's Christmas present and wrap it too. But other than that, uh, which is good. That's like the most stressful part of Christmas. But I love Christmas. I really love Christmas. I love Christmas time. My grandma has a Google Home Mini in the living room. And my eight-year-old nephew is currently asking it how to make gingerbread cookies. He is literally getting Google to read him a recipe on how to make gingerbread cookies. It's a strange, strange child. So, tomorrow, oh, Colourpop is releasing some lip balms and some lip scrubs. I'm pretty excited by that. I don't know how much it costs yet, but your girl's gonna check it out and see. I love Colourpop. I put the makeup on because I filmed my Ipsy unboxing for december which should be up by the time this video is up so if you want to go watch it i will try and figure out how to put it up in the corner or i will link it below it'll be down below maybe in the corner we'll see i'm wearing a headband that i've literally only worn like once to my mom's wedding when i was 14. i am about to start trying to edit my video that I filmed last night for the Ipsy bag. And like, I have 30, almost 32 minutes to edit. And my goal is usually to get it down to like 10 to 15 minutes. And usually I can because I have a lot of like pauses and start overs and everything in there. So yeah. I was editing my Ipsy video and it was. 32 minutes to start with and now it's five minutes well it's six minutes i'm gonna watch it through to make sure that it's okay and then i'm going to upload it i really watched it because i managed to edit like 15 seconds off of it i wasn't even trying to but there was like one clip that was I was like repeating myself and then there was like another clip of me just sitting there not doing or saying anything so I had to take those out which is why it's important to rewatch your video before you upload it. So this video is definitely not like my best work 
it's a little choppy and some of it does seem a little rushed but i'm trying to get back in the swing of things it's okay it's not the best thing but it's not the worst thing either I have this game on my ipad it's called this is roller coaster tycoon touch and like i hadn't played it in a while and i decided the other day to start playing it and i got back into it and then all of my stuff disappeared and i can't get it to come back and it, this happened before like a long time ago when i first started playing it but i don't remember what i did to get it back so that really sucks if anybody has any tips on how to get it back that would be great it is eight o'clock at night and i am eating some baby carrots because i like baby carrots today and yesterday have just been really like blah days and like i'm not sure why like but yeah they've just not been the best like i haven't felt like i'm not sick but i just mentally haven't felt right i guess i don't know it's just weird but hopefully tomorrow will be a better day my sister just video called me with mm, her baby while I was eating and I was like, welcome to my mukbang. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought I would share that. I had a, a mukbang, mukbang. So he said, with my six month old niece as my audience. Yep, well I ate carrots. <laughs> so my package for my present for my little brother said that it was delivered today at 11.01. But we can't find it. My grandma was outside at that time. Like, we can't find it. We don't know where it is. We've called UPS. We sat on hold with them for like an hour, maybe not an hour, but like a really long time. And like, I've contacted Target and they say they can't do anything for two business days. And it's the Friday before Christmas. So that. I won't be able to do anything till after Christmas. It's just, it's just frustrating because I don't know where the package is. So we called the main 1-800 number for UPS and they messaged the local UPS people that were supposed to deliver it. And they called their delivery driver and he was like, I know I delivered that. And they were like, where's it at though? Uh, apparently, he delivered it one street over to the same, like, numbers, but, like, a completely different street name. And, like, I know these kinds of things happen, like, we get mail mixed up all the time, but it's still annoying. I know it's just human error, and I try not to be too annoyed. I'm not annoyed at the person, I'm just annoyed at the situation. The driver is supposedly coming back out here, which hopefully I'll get my package we walked over there because my grandma was like well maybe maybe something put it over there so we went over there oh we didn't see it we didn't go up on their porch but we didn't see it over there but maybe we just overlooked it but hopefully the ups man will be able to retrieve it and give it back to us so the ups man just came and brought the package but there was only one and there was supposed to be two packages because i ordered two things and they sent them separately but they only, there was only one package, even though I said both of them were delivered. But UPS man said he only delivered one. So I have no idea where the other one is. He's going to wait and see if it shows up. And if it doesn't, then I will contact Target and be like, yo, what the heck, man? I'm just happy that I got the one. <laughs>
saw Christmas lights tonight. Not there wasn't too many people that decorated, but a few. It was nice. And we went to this place where they had like a bunch of Christmas lights and they had their own radio station. It was pretty cool. I did record that, but I don't know uh about posting it. We'll see. Hi. It is eight o'clock. I'm at my sister's house because we are leaving early in the morning and she wanted to sleep from her house. So I'm at her house and we are going to our mom's house in the morning for Christmas. And yes, I haven't vlogged anything today because you said I couldn't put you in my vlog. I'm putting that in my vlog. My nephew lost his mama's Christmas present. Yeah, but I got her a new one. But he I got her a new one. Go get I'm Marvin sucks. so he can be in my vlog. Don't put my dirty house in your vlog. I'm not. It's just your couch and your window and me. I won't put your dirty cat in my vlog. You don't want him. He's rude. He'll get censored. He'll get blocked. He'll take the video down. Just throw away the whole video. <laughs> Marvin lives in the garbage can. We should name him Oscar. <laughs> there it is right there. Oh, well, she found it. Line, but there ain't nothing in it. Hi, Marvin. This is my sister's cat, Marvin. <laughs> 